Good morning, second grade. It's Miss Giannino here, and I am here to read you this book called The Word Collector. That's the title, The Word Collector. And the author, the person who wrote this book, is Peter H. Reynolds. Peter H. Reynolds also wrote the book The Dot. If you remember back all the way to the very beginning of the year, one of the first books we read in second grade was The Dot. And so the same person that wrote The Dot wrote this book. If you liked The Dot, I think you're gonna really like this book too. All right, it's one of my favorites. Let's get started. The Word Collector by Peter Hamilton Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. This one says wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Willow, the shop, or the tea shop, sorry. And then he liked the word willow. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Emerald. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable treats. Treasure, motif, whisper, candid, hover, glimmer. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Guacamole, geometry, kaleidoscope, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Tyrannosaurus rex, molasses, torrential, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Some of the ones on this page are soul, shimmer, timber, lore, potential, Henry, violet, azure, Peru, brilliant. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace, savor, dreams, cascading, stars. Words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. Harmony, gaggle, onomatopoeia, bohemian, bungalow, molecule, peace, brilliance, waterfall. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, 
pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. This says, reach for your own words, tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter E. Hamilton Reynolds. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book. It's one of my favorites. Um, I challenge you to come up with a list of 10 of your favorite words and send them to your teacher so that we can see all the words that you love. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.